ramble more. Don't mind if I do. Well, here we are, beginning of the Land's End of John O'Groats challenge. I'm at the first of the two obligatory stops at Land's End. And I am here way before everybody else. This place is kind of a notorious tourist trap, so I'm kind of glad to be in and out. Um, I'm gonna take a couple pictures and I will start my first step any minute here. Hello, and welcome to the first installment of my series of vlogs in which I regale you with the trials, tribulations, and triumphs of my jaunty jaunt through the British countryside. As you just saw, my journey began in Land's End a week ago. I walked along the beautiful but tough southwest coastal path for 10 miles, passing through quaint seaside hamlets and alluring old port towns such as Mausel, seen here. Those first 10 miles were incredibly, incredibly tough. But after a couple of pints of Cornish beer, I cut inland, eventually wild camping in a secluded farmer's field. After a short and restless sleep, I was treated to a glorious, misty sunrise. Behold, 5 a.m. Cornwall, England. Some misty field. The next few days consisted of footpaths, overgrown footpaths, blocked footpaths, a couple of country lanes, a couple of country roads, some open fields, and a lot of different obstacles. There were also a lot of animals, but mostly there were just a lot of obstacles. Hey sheep. Hi black sheep. These little lanes are all over Cornwall. I've had to walk down dozens of them. And they're only room for one small car. And what you can't tell is that these hedges are actually made of stone and they don't really give it all. There's stone right inside there. So when a car comes whipping around the corner, I have to kind of plant my face into this hedge so they have room to get by. So fun. So I thought I'd show you what it's like when you pick a bunch of footpaths that are not on a long distance trail, you just kind of ramble as you go. Uh, this footpath has not been walked in a very long time. It is pure wood. I'm actually on top of an ancient wall right now because the ground is so covered. Oh, there's a path. Ducking, I'm bobbing, I'm weaving. Uh, hopefully I can get out of here, but this is about the fourth or fifth one just like this where it has been difficult to get through. All right, I think I just have a couple more thorny bushes to get through. And just like that, the trail opened up fine. Decommissioned rail line that they've turned into a walking and cycling path. Here's the old platform. Dunmere Halt. Hey, look, a pub. All right. One hundred and forty miles down, and I'm enjoying my first rest day in Oakhampton, eating the local food and drinking the local scrumpy. Despite a few initial setbacks, I'm having a great time. I'll see you all next week.